An Australian billionaire's plans to build a full-size replica of the Titanic triggers mixed reactions. Some British relatives of Titanic victims are horrified, but enthusiasts hope it will keep the spirit of the Titanic and that period of history alive. Mining magnate Klein Palmer is set to unveil the details of his plans for Titanic II in New York later on Tuesday, February 26. Its inaugural voyage is expected to follow the same route as the original Titanic, from Southampton in the United Kingdom to Cobb in Ireland before heading across the Atlantic to Manhattan. On April 15, 1912, the original ship hit an iceberg in the Atlantic and sank, killing 1,523 passengers and crew. 91-year-old Pat Lacey is the great-great-niece of the ship's captain, Edward John Smith, who perished at sea. Well, I think it's utterly pointless um, and, and in rather poor taste, really. If you've got that amount of money, it must be costing a bomb, you know, in this day and age. Why not, you know, do something useful with it? I can imagine the ghosts of all the people who, who went down on it getting up and, you know, being cross about it. <laughs> um, I, I certainly do. And uh, I don't understand the mentality of somebody who wants to do it, really. One hundred years after his death, Captain Smith continues to capture the public's imagination for his involvement in one of the worst maritime disasters of all time. Titanic enthusiasts, sometimes called Titanorex in the UK, are excited about the project. Philip Littlejohn's grandfather was a first-class steward on the Doom Liner. I'm very keen on anything that perpetuates the memory of Titanic. There are going to be a lot of people that say that, and that's why I use that word respect. It depends how the, the whole project is envisaged. I think you, it's got to be remembered that Titanic was a, a maritime grave. Philip's grandfather, Alexander James Little John, turned white-haired overnight after surviving the disaster. Little John has written a book about the tragedy and went on a dive to the crash site to see the decaying ruins for himself. Titanic is deteriorating rapidly. Um, so people aren't going to be able to go down and see the original Titanic. Maybe Titanic 2 can give them the opportunity to experience what it was like. So, provided it's done with respect, I'm very much for it. Just how much will a ticket cost for the Titanic 2's maiden voyage in 2016? Potential passengers have reportedly offered up to 1 million US dollars to be on board.